I'm so excited to have you on the show, Grace. I've been watching your videos recently and it's so cool to be sat with two powerful, <laughs> beautiful, Aww. incredible, intelligent, successful women. So thanks for coming on the show. No, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. You know what, you, uh, the reason um, you kind of picked my interest was because I have, I've been aware of you for a little while now because mm. you you've got a YouTube channel, you do videos about property, you inspire a lot of people as well, help people with their mindset and different things. I think you mentioned Grace to me? Yes. A few months I back. Um, and I, you, you kind of came on my attention and you mentioned me a couple of times in your videos. Yep. And I saw you kind of shouting me out. And then you even said, I'm coming to the crash course. So I was like, okay. And then I saw you at the crash course, yeah. shouted you out. Um, and then kindly you did a, a big long video where you talked about your experience at the crash course and you gave it like a really beautiful, I mean, how nice was that? Yeah, literally. I, was, I said to Samuel, this is the best testimony I think we've ever had. Oh, really? Genuinely. It was so good. Thanks. It was so good that people thought that you'd been paid by me yeah. to say it. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? I know, I've, I've got loads of like comments saying, have you been paid? And definitely not. I went there on my own accord and anyone that's a subscriber of mine will know that I've been to loads of seminars this year already. So what I do Did is every time I go, I say my like real- Can I say it's a bit crazy as well? I was actually like thinking, when I saw your video, mm. you put uh, Samuel Lee's Crash Course Review and you actually had an angry face on the thumbnail. Oh, that was something about something else. But that was about something else. <laughs> yeah. And because you've done videos in the past where you've been to seminars and you've kind of done like, not exposed, but you've been like, it was a bit yeah. rubbish. I thought, I hope that this is a good video. I hope this is a good video. And, <laughs> I, and, I, and, I, and I watched it and I was, it was just the best. Yeah. Aww. So we love that. Yeah. I like to give surprises. So. <laughs> well, that's great. And then it, I think it was, it, we, we spoke and it was just like, let's just get down to the studio. Um, you do property videos. Yeah. Why do you, what made you want to start doing videos on property investing? Um, well, basically a few years ago, I bought my first home at like 26. And for me, I'm always quite hard on myself, so I just thought, oh, it's a standard thing to do. But I realise a lot of people my age haven't bought a f like their first home. So I thought, why don't I just tell people how to do this, motivate people, and like let people know how to save money like efficiently. And yeah, it just mm. spiral from there, and then I get loads of questions, so then I've just continued. But your, your videos are detailed as well, like they're yeah. pretty specific. You, you've done videos on how to buy, I oh, think yeah. I might have even robbed your idea. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's all coming no, up. No, because I, I have done that. Like, um, when I was saving for my home, I had, like, I think £15,000 saved, and I thought, how the hell am I going to save all this money? So I tried the government scheme, and it was no use to me, so that is why I know about it firsthand. Yeah. And so I just sort of, like, gave everyone the ins and outs of it, because not everyone reads, like, the... The details there's a lot there's yeah. like a good few pages that i'm sure people just think oh this is great i can buy my first home but there's there's pros and there's cons yeah so it depends yeah. good at researching yeah i'm pretty good <laughs> i do that in my job so <laughs> you've got a youtube channel as well oh yeah tell us about tell us about, <laughs> tell us about the yeah. emilia Rosante youtube channel <laughs> yeah so i probably started over a year ago, and I just, I've just i always wanted to do it. Always, always, always. And I'm always going to stop myself because I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Oh, okay. um, a bit. Like, you're not, you're, you are, <laughs> the, with your YouTube videos, yeah. like, mm. me and Amelia will do a video together, and I'll be like, it's just perfect, the lighting's great. And then I'll say, let's publish it, and she'll say, well, let me just go and just just polish it up a little bit. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then a couple of days later, I'll be like, what happened with that video? I deleted it. It wasn't good Aww. enough. I'm like, I know. I'm like, it's so, I think the one thing I have learned from you, though, is you just, do it and it goes out. You don't even really have control now because you'll give it to the media yeah. team, they'll put it out. You're not like, I don't see the videos before they go out. <laughs> yeah, that's mad. <laughs> I don't see them. I, I'm the same as you. I watch yeah. my video about 10 times and yeah. make sure everything I say is right. And I do edit my videos like, I don't make, like I don't put things in it that isn't necessary to say. Yeah. So yeah, I get what you mean. So when you shoot a video, like let's say it's a 10 minute video, mm -hmm. how long did you actually spend, how, how much content did you put out? You how don't want to know. <laughs> really? About 40 minutes. No. Yeah. What happened to the 30 minutes? I'm talking, sometimes I'll say the same thing in a different way, and then I'm like, I don't like the way I said that, so I'll say it again, Yeah. and then I use that bit. Do you, do, when, when did your channel sort of start, like, I know it's, what I say, mm. blown up, I just mean when, because you've got, you know, yeah. you've, got, you've got quite a lot of subscribers, when did, when did that spike, when did that happen? It's when I'm more consistent, that's when I notice yeah. the growth in my channel. Like, I go through stages, like, a few years ago where I don't post anything for, like, a 
a month or two and then yeah it's like you have to start from scratch again so mm. yeah you have to be consistent your videos mm. like you, you you you've just done a few where you've jumped on like a trend or something yeah it's, mm. that's that a good thing as well. what's the most popular video you did the most popular oh it was about freshers it's when oh, i was at uni so it was like a fresh that's video. like fifteen thousand. yeah and they're no really promo popular. or no yeah literally that's and it's, I did, um, I think things that are unique to you as well. Like I did a video on my time in Australia because I was there for like a year oh, nice. and like a study abroad and that just picked yeah. up. Yeah. But it wasn't really any like magic behind it. You I know what though? posted it. At YouTube is like having your own TV show. Mm. You do not need to be a superstar no. to have a big YouTube channel. And I mean, you, you've had 50, yeah. sort of like 15,000 views on some of your videos. Imagine if you filled a room of 15,000 people. That's a lot yeah, of people. Yeah. You, you don't know, think of it like that. But no, yeah. and your videos, you know, you, you, you consistently get a lot of views. You got, mm. You've got a lot of followers. I know mm. people are always saying, you know, do a meet and greet, do a, yeah. you know. Do you monetize off the back of your channel at all? Do you, do you, do you profit from it apart from just ads? Um, I have been approached a few times by like brands that want my their like item on my channel and stuff, but I'm really particular because obviously I don't want to look like I'm selling something, and it has to like relate to what I'm talking about. And often I'm talking about like motivational stuff, so unless it's like holistic or if it's and it's not often that, but sometimes I do like fashion hauls. Yeah. I like doing mm. them, and then I get like nice clothes for holiday and stuff mm. and bikini hauls. I, I, I've yeah. got a great bikini haul on my channel. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, should do one best. this year. Yeah, the best. Once he's got ripped. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing, like, sometimes people might, I'll do a video on how to buy, you'll do a video on how to buy, but people might resonate with you in a different way. Yeah, yeah. You know, what's your focus with your YouTube channel? My focus, I think, just being consistent. Yeah. Mm. Like, that you is are amazing. consistent. You are consistent. I'm consistently not do doing you, it. Do you, <laughs> 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 so, do you post every week? That's the thing, when I started at uni, I did it where there was a bit where I was doing it every week, and it gave me so much fulfillment because you're just mm. you feel like you're on track you've got your life on track but i haven't posted for ages oh, okay and now i need to post yeah so that's kind of where i'm at but as well because i do like a bit of videography like i started for samuel as a videographer so i think for me as well it's kind of that thing of like i wouldn't feel comfortable putting something up just on my mm. phone or something because people know i've got that background so then they'd be like oh, okay. wait right, a second i thought you were professional what's i guess oh, that's probably no. in my head that a little must bit be what well. it is it's the, the super high standards. That's what it is. Mm. Yeah. See, when I started on my, my YouTube channel, I just filmed everything on my phone. Oh, did you? Yeah. When did, it, you, when did you start? I did put my first video out like four or five years ago. Oh, wow. So I discovered phone. your channel about a year ago when I was looking for my second home. Yeah. And I literally just typed something random in and you came up. And then I like literally learned a lot about buying a second home from watching you. And then I gave on that up on that for a little bit. But I still mentioned you whenever anyone asked me in my live chats, so like just watch his channel because he knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Comedy related, yes. But yeah, yeah, but you've been way more, you post every day, you're yeah. really good. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's really but then good. I've got five full-time videographers. Yeah. yeah. And I don't edit the videos myself. I don't, unless, in, like sometimes if we do a financial freedom challenge or something, mm. I might edit it myself just because yeah. I'm a little bit like, it's a, I know it's gonna get so many views, yeah. but day to day I don't edit the videos. Mm. And, um, I also as well, because my videographers follow me around a mm. lot, so I'll have people out on the road with me, film me in meetings, it kind of forces you to live an extremely transparent life. Yeah. yeah. Because I, I really feel like most, most people, they're, 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 they're one person when they're with one group of friends, mm. another person when they're with their family, another person when they're at work, another person, and they have like car park mentalized boxes of how they live yeah. their life. Mm -hmm. See, I don't live like that, but I couldn't. Because yeah. if I did, it would be like, like my, who's this? Yeah. Yeah, honestly, because because yeah. my, my, my team are with me all the time. I, I don't. There's in my whole in my life and in my business. Mm. There's no separation between business, between social, between between church, between charity. Mm. It, it's everything is just my life, and the same people cross over in different yeah. parts of it. Mm. You know, but, like like. Yeah, but I on. do believe that some people bring out certain things in you. So, yeah. like, say if I'm with a certain group of friends, they might bring out something else in me that another group of yeah. friends don't. So yeah. it's not that you're different. It's just I don't know. Yeah, no, it makes sense. It's weird. Though. I think that's a weird. But thing that's about really YouTube. good. Your life but then, now. but then yeah. that that would be a different side, but still you. You're still being authentic and true yeah, to yourself. Yeah, yeah. I'm still yeah. me. I still have the same you're not, opinions. Here's the thing. The defi I think the definition of integrity is doing in private what you do in public. Yeah. The mm -hmm. definition of integrity is. Is, is, is your values mm. and principles being the same. You're not, you're yeah. not weak-minded or blown by the wind. So having a different type of humor 
or mm. you know being serious yeah. and then being jokey mm. and then that that, that that's, that's different. quite a difficult thing to do what's that it, like to be different around different people because that's like an act almost yeah. isn't it mm. yeah because even yeah. for myself i've been to like networking events even at work where i've got to be really corporate and then i'm like grace don't say any jokes today just be like and i can't help it so <laughs> but some people can and they can be different and yeah. Even on YouTube, people can be different. Yeah, but also as well, when you've got videographers following you around 24-7, you also can never lie. Yeah, that's true. Because yeah. imagine if I say something that's not true, jeez, I've got videographers mm. filming me every time. So if I'm making a sale, if I'm trying to sell a piece of property or whatever, and I sell it, and to get the deal, I say something that's not true, I'm filmed. Yeah. yeah. It, it takes a very transparent, honest person to allow someone to film them 24-7. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Yeah. You know. So true. So what advice would you give to people that want to be consistent that don't have five videographers? Is this for you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being selfish. <laughs> um, I don't know. You have to do things you really enjoy doing. Like what I do is I write down things that I want to talk about and then like do a little a few bullet points. And you can even have one day. I shouldn't say this, but I do it in like one day. Obviously, I work full time, so I've yeah. got to do one day, change my top each time. <gasps> you See Chris fraud. out. <laughs> you fraud. And then just no, like sometimes you're in the mood for it, and mm. then you have a lot of videos. Say if you did five and you want to have one a week, yeah. you've got one for the next five weeks each yeah. week. So, no, I love yeah. That. So I, I'd say do that because some people do one a day. Like, you know, you do as well. <laughs> but like some people that work full time do one each weekend, yeah. but they could do a good few. Like, yeah. Videos don't tend to run that long, do they? How long are your videos usually? Ten minutes. Yeah, exactly. But it depends on the video. Sometimes it might only yeah. be five. Yeah, Sometimes exactly. 20. So you don't need loads of time to do it. Yeah. And as a girl, though, we do like hair and makeup, so it's a bit different. Yeah. What so you, what you do in the video as well, like something Patricia Bright does really well, mm. is she'll she'll t be talking about something, but she'll be putting makeup on. And yeah, then that's a good idea. And then it makes you want to watch it till the end. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I can't do that, <laughs> but is there anything similar I could do? Could I, like, um, yeah. lint roll my top or something? <laughs> you know? Oh, like, I love watching McBangs. McBangs? Yeah, that? have you heard of that? No. Oh, well, you watch something. people eat? No. Yeah. I love you don't want to just female. watch me eat. Surely. No, Why? honestly, I love watching people eat. It's a bit weird, but, like, yeah. do you watch Trisha Paytas? Yeah. 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 And she just sits there. She talks back. Talks and Not right, horrible swear. She talks about, any, about anything. Yeah. And she just eats and eats. It's like a thing. And people will watch other you people know, I can't believe, I mean, we'll show you one after this. No, yeah. I've never heard of it, but it sounds strange. Haven't. It sounds strange. <laughs> I'd rather watch Patricia Bright put makeup on. But I'll check it out. You, you, you say that now, but when you watch it, you might. I'll think check it out. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you can work out and do a video. Yeah. Oh, we should, that would be We should have done one today. Yeah. A workout yeah. session. Oh, have you yeah. met Marvin, my PT? No. He's so cool. Oh, cool. I mean, honestly. you And he's your PT. Yes, my PT too. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah. I went to one of his classes the other day as well, so I saw him in his full potential, and it was really cool. Because sometimes people think, because I have a full-time personal trainer, because he's full-time, because I hire him full-time, mm. pay him a full-time salary, that he's literally with, with me full-time. <laughs> but that would kind of be strange. Mm. So, although he's with me a lot, he's not with me full-time. Sometimes he'll do stuff with Amelia or, or other people on the team. But I know, it is... It is really good. Yeah, that's cool. Are you at the gym doing like training or is it just like you so running Mar around the park? He, Marvin normally comes around my house mm. and literally <laughs> wakes you up at half six. Wakes, oh, wakes wow. me up. He is my alarm clock, then works me out, then cooks me breakfast. Oh, that's nice. So a chef and a PT. Yeah. <laughs> he might not like me saying that. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but no, nah, he's oh, okay. just a good he's just a good friend. Oh, God, so okay. tell me, tell me, tell me. When we met mm. and you we, the first time we ever met was when you came to the cross yeah. course. I was queuing up to talk to you. You were. You were. <laughs> but what was the experience like compared to what you thought it was going to be like? I, I think I was waiting for like a catch, I've got to say. Mm. But I was like, this is great. Yeah. Like, honestly, I loved it. Um, and everyone I spoke to loved it as well. And it really like, obviously you learn about property and stuff, but it's also quite motivational. Like, yeah. that side of it is really really valuable um you read the book the secret didn't you yes mm. um oh, have you and read? i know you've read the book the secret lots of times let's talk about it do you have you read the book the secret um i was gonna ask you i've read the book the secret <laughs> okay so we'll have a conversation, have a conversation <laughs> and then no but I, I don't know if i have but i'm totally familiar with all the principles and oh, stuff okay. i don't i must have read it like maybe a decade ago so the law of attraction is like it's energy so everyone radiates energy good and bad and so whatever you put out you sort of get back so if you're a positive person you think positively 
and you have like a goal set and you're 100% certain about it, it will happen. I have no doubt about that. Mm. So, so that's another thing I wanted to say to you, like with the property thing, like I could sit here and tell you how to buy a property. You could sit there, tell all your, your massive audience how to buy a property, but if you don't have a positive mindset, it's actually, I'm not saying it's not gonna happen, but it's less likely to, because if you're positive, everything aligns itself. But it sounds crazy no, <laughs> when I, I say it out loud. I see it happen. But yeah, I see, honestly, it's happened in everything in my life. Me buying my home at like 25, 26, I had that as a name when I was 18, done it. Anything I've ever got in my life, I have thought about it and I've got it. You probably have subconsciously no, as well. No, I, I definitely believe in the power yeah. of, the power of visualization. Mm -hmm. Visualization. And so thoughts powerful. become things. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and also when you speak something out, I think you speak into existence. Yeah. So I think you've got to be really careful with your words. Yeah. I never I speak. Thoughts. I never speak negatively yeah. over myself. I'm not saying I'm not critical of myself, mm -hmm. but but I'll never I'll never talk down. Yeah, never on myself. put yourself down. But people do. Mm -hmm. People do all the it's time. It's like very um, a thing that a lot of humans. I think naturally we put ourselves down. But yeah. yeah, I think when you're aware of it, then you don't do it. In the beginning, I was always like, I was like quite a negative Sally, like yeah. years and years <laughs> ago. And I, my like quote was, don't have high expectations because you'll always be disappointed. Like, that was like my <laughs> quote Aww. I used to say to people. So like now it's the opposite. I would never think that. Now I'm like, no, I'm going to so do So what this. changed? I, I watched The Secret. Um, mm -hmm. One of my mum's friends actually brought it around the house. No one was paying attention to it apart from me. <laughs> You're and like, I was like... <laughs> This is amazing. And then I like I think I had like twenty pounds in my bank and I spent twelve ninety nine on the book. And then from then I swear like my whole life has changed. And I know that sounds crazy, but everything in my life I've ever wanted happens. Did you ever visualise the stuff that you've got now? It's weird because I don't think everything I've visualised, so mm. to speak, where because you know sometimes they're like, say if you wanted this flat and it had brown carpet, you visualise every little oh, yeah. detail. But I think a lot for me was just like energy that I put out. Mm. Like for example, even me like working with you and here, it wasn't I was like, right, I'm going to see myself next to Simon, I'm going to do it. But it was... Although you did say something when we first met, weirdly. Yeah, my um, when we first met, so I went up to Simon at like, the crash course and I was like, oh, thank you. Um, and my mum came up with me as well and she was like, I didn't even know she was going to say it and it was just a bit weird. Yeah, but, but you told like, her beforehand, you spoke obviously. Yeah, yeah, no, obviously me and my mum would What spoke, did you speak about beforehand? I was just like, I want to get into this, like I'm super confident about it, like I'm going to go and talk to him. And my mum, when she came up to Samuel, she was like, um, watch her, she'll, she'll surprise you, you know. And then here we are like a year or so later and I'm like with yeah. you every single day. And it's nothing, it's because at that point I would have never thought, oh, I'm gonna visualize, I'm gonna be Samuel's talent manager. Mm. But it was more just like, it's, like what was the word? Like it, without me even thinking about it, just my whole energy about yeah. it. And, like even how the opportunity came to me and like you saying, come down to London. Like when I think about a lot of people, like my friends and people like that, I just don't think they'd attract the same yeah. opportunity. Well, what attracted me about you crazy. was actually your YouTube channel. Yeah. Because yeah. you came to the crash course, you then did some advanced training, you came on the deal for financial Academy, your mum joined the academy, which was great. Mm -hmm. But then I spotted you on YouTube and I saw your YouTube videos and I just thought, oh, and that, that to be honest, same with Grace. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be sat having this conversation with Grace if you didn't have your YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah that's true. You just put yourself out there. It just yeah. wouldn't happen. Because when someone's on YouTube, see, people say to me all the time, Samuel, can I have a coffee with you? Or Samuel, I want to meet, I want to tell mm -hmm. my story. Just put it on YouTube and then I might see it. Yeah. <laughs> become a YouTuber. Then. Just become a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. Just become yeah. a YouTuber. Now but everyone's going to be opening YouTube accounts. <laughs> good, good. Yeah. But not only will I see it, but so will everybody. Yeah, yeah it's true. And then if you're a good person, you have good energy, mm. they'll see that and you'll start, doors will start massively opening. Yeah, it does open a lot of doors to YouTube. It it's, really does. It is crazy. Like even now, like what I'm talking about, I'm like, why have I not still done it? But mm. even the tiny, like few videos that I did, like my tiny. uni, <laughs> a few videos, my uni, reached out the to 1. me. 2, the 1.2 videos that you put up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you, put, videos. you put up some good videos. Yeah. You know, but go on. You but know. even like my uni reached out to me and wanted me to like speak in for them. Wow. And just from like videos that I'd done in like an hour in my bedroom at uni. Like it's just crazy to me. And That's I wasn't amazing. even like consistent at that point. They just saw like a one video and was like, come and speak. Obviously Samuel. I even got offered other jobs that like were seen through that. So. Do you know what though? Having a YouTube channel is so much more valuable in 2020 than having a good CV. Yeah, it yeah. is true. But I don't know if I'd want my employer to see my YouTube channel. Really? Why not? I don't know. Um, they will see it. it. Sometimes, I don't know, they haven't. So they will. Like, they will. Don't say they that. <laughs> they'll, <laughs> they'll have already watched it. No, they haven't. They have. I've got, I've got a different um, surname. 
They'll have watched it. Because, I don't know. They'll be playing dumb. But at, at least it. my channel's like quite... Your channel's good. good. It's not like it's... <laughs> it's not... Um, is, is it not rubbish? No, that's good. <laughs> no, I mean, it's not... Um, Trash it. Yeah. I, I'm being like, I'm putting out a good message. It's not yeah. like I'm doing anything bad. Why would you not want them to see it? Um, I don't know. Just I just don't, don't want them eyeballs. thinking, worrying like I've got like a side... I think some employers worry that you've got a side hustle and like they might yep. worry about that <coughs> me leaving or something like that. And they yep. might not think I'm focused on my work because I'm focused on YouTube. I don't know. Mm, what do you think about that? Because mm. that's that's an interesting... That's an interesting... Because yeah. what's the difference between just having a personal brand and putting yourself out there mm. and trying to influence people and then appearing to just be distracted and mm. unsatisfied? Like... I think it's a hard one as well because obviously say if they knew that you had your YouTube channel, like they could be like, oh, say if you're getting a bit distracted at work, they could say it's that, but then everyone has their personal yeah. life, they're just, they're just not videoing it. Someone could be more yeah. not focused. Someone could be more focused stuff. by playing PlayStation. Yeah. And another thing is, yeah. I, I believe how you do anything is how you do everything. Yeah. yeah. So if you're good or focused at YouTube, mm. then you'll be good and focused at work. Yeah, like, true. so if I see yeah. my staff, Unless there's a conflict of interest. Mm. If there's a conflict of interest, that's another thing. But having a YouTube channel and talking about your experiences and sharing your life with the world, yeah. I don't see that as a conflict of interest. Yeah. So my, any of my staff that want to have a YouTube channel, I'll encourage them. I encourage well, you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, literally. I'll encourage them. Literally, Samuel will message me every week, like, you do it, yeah, you do it. Like, super oh. encouraging. I was going to ask you, actually, you know, with your YouTube channel, because uh. you've asked me this, where do you see it going? Do you think I want to be a big YouTuber in your head? Or? No, for me, it's kind of just like, I think at the minute, YouTube for me is very much just to get my own fulfillment. Mm. I think when you've wanted to do it, like I, I mean like way back, like mm. I watched YouTube from like the beginning and I wanted to do it from there. Oh, wow. So from me, it's just fulfillment, like that tiny period of time where I put a video up, I've never felt more fulfilled. Oh, you should which have done is it just from crazy. years ago. I know, it's just crazy and it's just yeah. such a personal thing. Yeah. So then it's annoying to me that something so not personal is stopping me. Yeah, like, you should just do it. Getting. I didn't actually know that was the reason, but now it makes sense. Yeah. Mm. No, it's completely fulfillment. And also, I, no, 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 I knew that. I knew that bit. I didn't know that it was, I didn't put the two and two together, that mm -hmm. because you're a professional videographer, then you feel like people will judge you. Because if you put out a video and, and, and it's not perfect, people are like, aren't you supposed to be a videographer? But you know what? You Number know one. Good. It gives you comments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not yeah, a bad thing. <laughs> yeah. They put it out really bad. Yeah. Honestly, I, I know YouTubers that do that kind of thing. They'll, yes. do, they'll do things like they'll deliberately put a misspelling in the title. Or they'll put something on their top or something. Or they'll, they'll yeah. make their hair like Wrong. Yeah. Wrong. Deliberate misspelling. And then they know that everyone's going to be like in the comments, oh, you spelled this word wrong. I'm trying to be nice or trying to be critical. It's true. But yeah. then it's just going to get more comments, which yeah. is going to help the algorithms. Yep. It's crazy. So do it. Enjoy it. And not everyone's yeah. going to know you. I didn't know you were a videographer. Not everyone's yeah. going to know that. You're not yeah. a videographer. Not you're a talent anymore. manager. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. It's just great. Like, it is... I feel like personal branding, like we talk about personal branding so much, but I feel like it is just like an incredible thing. Like, you probably have like a lot of brands reach out to you mm. and that kind of thing. But and I it's just, I'm awful. I don't... I should probably work with more brands, but I feel like I, I actually enjoy just talking about what I want to talk about. Mm -hmm. But when I have to promote something or something, I, you I don't look you, forward to it as but much. But you didn't mind yeah. that time when I paid you to promote the content. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I suppose. I don't, think you, I, don't <laughs> think, <laughs> I don't think you could pay someone to, 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 to do what you did, though. You could, like, mm -hmm. how could you pay someone to leave a yeah. heart You'd have to be giving me, like, a Big lot of money. money. <laughs> yeah. Big money. So it's for me to be talking like that. And also, like, people said it's scripted. There's no way you're that feminine to give me that script. <laughs> like, it just sounds ridiculous. <laughs> no, but what about um, Amelia? I think I mentioned to you, Amelia came on the podcast. First time you came on the podcast, asked yeah. me a load of questions. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, I don't... I don't know what she was going to ask me. And people mm -hmm. said, you know, oh, um, I bet Samuel gave Amelia those questions beforehand and yeah. they rehearsed it. It's like, are you serious? Like, it's just... Oh. But they're the sort of people that, like your neighbours that are nosy. It's like the same. Yeah. They like to speculate, oh, what's she doing yeah. over there? Like, I haven't got time. I do a video every day. Yeah. I, I mean, I fair play to them. They want to speculate, but it's not actually helping them. And I, anyone that's subscribed to me, I would never recommend them using their time that way. Just oh. see things for what it is. Don't worry. And yeah. So should life. everybody be a YouTuber? No. It, it, it depends <laughs> what you mean by define YouTuber. I think everybody should document document what they do. Um, I don't know. Go on, Grace. Do you reckon? You know what? I am so old school. Like, if it was yeah. up to me, we'd have no social media. 
I was in like Instagram or Facebook because I see school kids that's like you can't enjoy yourself anymore you have to document your whole life mm. and it's like why don't you just say if we have a chat we're having a chat now yeah. but if we document our whole day and we're aware that I don't know it's just you can't relax and enjoy yourself. Obviously, you've got videographers, so it's a bit different. Mm. But a normal person's going to have their phone and you'll stop and like, all right, guys, let's... You know what I mean? All the time. Mm. But I get yeah. what you mean. It's the way we're going now. Well, and it's I, the way here's forward. the funny thing. People say, you know, I've seen these pictures of where they have like cartoons of everyone just staring yeah, at their phone. Yeah, that's what and I'm like. Isn't it antisocial? But then if you look 60 years ago, you see the same picture on the bus and everyone just reading a newspaper. Yeah, it's true. So, at least they're getting educated with the newspaper. No, <laughs> no, 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 because a newspaper is telling you what to think, mm. whereas a phone, you can actually search Yeah, that is true, that is true. You can so, search for so, what you want to know. So I think that I, don't, I, I actually am quite pro. Like, my kids, mm. they'll be on the iPad and stuff. I'm happy for them to be on the iPad. And people say, oh, it's terrible, get them off the iPad. I'm like, no, 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 because if they want to be rich, mm. believe me, they're going to need to know how to use a computer. Yeah, it's true. So for me to take that away from them, so their kids, they shouldn't be on it. As long as they're not on it loads, as long as they're still yeah, playing with balanced. toys and it's balanced. Mm-hmm. But, and I'm still figuring this out. Mm-hmm. I'm, not saying, I'm not saying my way's right. But I think it's good. Be on the phone. The phone is not antisocial. Because I use, I use my YouTube channel mm-hmm. to actually promote physical events. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I bring people together. I use, the, I use the internet as a way to bring people physically together who would never get together if it wasn't for that. But it depends how you're using it, because I've seen you even now. You're not, like, on your phone and not talking. Some people will literally, like, you'll see a group of friends and they're not talking, they're just on their phone. So it depends. Yeah. Because it's like... Well, some... you do, but that's the case of anything. That yeah. You can over, you know, just to say, you shouldn't, like, anything you're interested in. I could be interested mm. in watches, but then I could be obsessed and just looking at That's it. true, it, that's true. But that's the case of anything. I suppose with everything in moderation is... And the reason people are obsessed okay. with technology and phones and computers is because they're so frigging good. Mm. It's quite, addi- it's quite it addictive. Yeah, because it's addictive because it's so good. Like, mm. you have the world in your hands. Yeah, yeah. You can find out anything you need to know online within reason. We're very can, lucky. Oh, we're great. So I think it's. I think it's the best time to be alive. Mm. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's the best time. Like, if you want to get rich, like now, is it time? you can. You've got so much opportunity. You have it on mm-hmm. your phone. But listen, like now in 2020, we have cars, so we can drive to properties to view them. We have planes. Mm. If you want to, if we need to fly, we have um, the internet in our hands. Mm-hmm. There's just no excuses as no, to why. We, it's just everything's there. Yeah. So I think it's great. Yeah, I get the whole balance thing. I think this definitely needs to be balanced. But I think I feel like personal branding and filming yourself mm-hmm. and just putting yourself out there. It's just such a powerful thing. Yeah. Like you must know that people like you'll probably walk into some rooms now or go to some events and people just know who you are. Yeah. And it's quite like humbling to know that you can just walk into a room and be like, people yeah, know you. So say if you were doing weird. business from it. Mm. So say if you were like property or anything like that, you can kind of get deals and like people know who you are before you even enter the room. Yeah, that's true. You can use it. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, it, it can be an amazing thing. I think we're thing. getting you a bit wrong. But <laughs> I don't recommend every single person to be like on it all the time. Depends what you're doing. Like, we obviously do YouTube, so we need to be on it. Mm. But if for an ordinary person that I isn't say. doing YouTube. Here's what I say. If people hate being on camera, mm-hmm. I still suggest that they document what they're doing, even if it's just, we probably have the same opinion because we've spent so much time together, so it's good to be challenged. <laughs> yeah. Challenge, we've been sat together. <laughs> yeah. But, but uh, like, I tell my, my students who are doing property, mm. like, I say, look, if you can't be on camera because you just hate that, then at least take pictures. You can do an article on it. Do you mean like to inspire people? Not just to inspire people, but also, let's let's say you, you're buying, I said this to your mum, you know, yeah. she's done loads of really good mm. property deals for the last however many years, right? She's on the academy. And I said to her, if you've got pictures and the stories, it's a case study. Mm. So then if you want to join venture with people or do business with people, you can say, look, here's my, it's a portfolio. It's, a, yeah, it's, a, it's an entrepreneur's CV. Yeah. My YouTube channel is an entrepreneur's CV. If you mm. want to get to know me, you want mm. to figure out what I'm about, you want to see the best of me, you want to yeah, see the worst true. of me, you look on my YouTube channel, you look on my social media, you see mm. my pictures, you see my story, you'll see my testimonials, you'll see, and depending, yeah, on, you and depending on how you want to see it, if you want to view it through LinkedIn and see mm. a more professional version, or if you want to go on Instagram and see a more fun, uh, yeah. snappy version, or YouTube and get a more in-depth version, yeah. I am online. 
people cannot buy from you if they don't know who you are yeah. and people know who I am because I put myself out there meaning it's very easy for me to do business with people you, I'll walk into an estate agent and they know who I am already but yeah. it's very easy for me to do a deal with them because they know who I am and and if and if someone doesn't like me mm. then they'd have got to know me and not like me anyway so at least it's yeah. over yeah, faster yeah, yeah. yeah and it's just the thing that's always there I feel like even when you sleep mm. your YouTube videos are there and yeah, people can watch working. it and they're still engaging with yeah. you but you're it's almost like passive Passively meeting people. Yeah. If that's, if that's kind of they said you, you, you should spend seven hours. So people, the average person will want to spend seven hours with you before they do business with you. Oh, really? So you either have to spend seven hours with people or oh, have really? seven hours worth of footage. Have you been YouTube watching channel. seven hours of my footage? <laughs> I've seen you now for seven hours, so now. <laughs> so now it's all right. Yeah, so uh, uh, the same with writing a book. If you write yeah. a book, someone reads the book, mm -hmm. takes them three hours to read the book, they've spent three hours with you. You write it once mm -hmm. and suddenly you've impacted someone and someone's got to know you. Yeah. yeah. So No, I totally get what you mean. But, but you're like, you're doing really well and you're like really informative. But yeah. not everyone is, not, I'm just being mad, but not mm -hmm. every single person yeah. is doing what you're doing. So mm -hmm. it just depends True. what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. And I think you can always kind of use it to, even if you were, like you can use it to your advantage. So you might not want to do property, but you might want to, even if you just did it to like build your confidence mm, or maybe yeah. you wanted to tell someone about your little side hustle or even just like little things is quite... Mm -hmm. And, and, and we always underwrite like. ourselves. So to us, you might think, oh, that person's yeah. not done much, but actually a thousand interesting things has happened to them probably. Yeah, it's true. You're right. The only thing I would like to say against it is that a lot of people, especially influencers, only show one side of their life. Yeah. Mm. Like, and that's why on my channel, I talk about everything. I don't know mm. if you've seen my other videos. So, I only watch the property ones. You only watch the happy ones. <laughs> <laughs> but like, that's why on my channel, I'm very real. And I say, look, life isn't always like plain sailing things happen mm. and I feel like a lot of influencers no shade to them obviously that's their brand or whatever but I feel like people watch them thinking why isn't my life all like sunny and rosy all the time and that's the only thing I think that's the main critique I have mm -hmm. of it mm. that if everyone was really real like you are real but other people were like oh yeah everything's always good and you said on one video that I'm the only YouTuber that you watch you're the only yeah you're the only YouTuber I watch and yeah like consistently that's a, that's a compliment. That's yeah. Because yeah. I don't really... I don't really you picked a good channel. You picked yeah. a good channel. Because <laughs> I don't really spend a lot of my time, like, on watching YouTube, to be honest. But, um, yeah. But when you do, you're watching me. Yeah. What did you like about... What did you like about uh, YouTube channel? It's really informative, and you're, like, very enthusiastic to the point, and you have lots of, like, different videos, so then I don't have to, like, watch you... Like, I can get to, I can get to what I want to see. Like, yeah. I, just, I, just I was so happy a minute ago. <laughs> you can just see what you what yes. you want. You don't. You can, just, you can choose yeah. the videos that apply yeah. to you, much don't. Yeah, it's yeah. very direct, so it's good. Yeah, and you're helping cool. lots of people, and you've got good testimony. Like, there's loads of people saying they have become financially free from watching your videos. So yeah. every week. Yeah. And what's your what's your goal with YouTube? And That's the thing. I actually question. don't have one. And when you asked me that the other day, I was like, I actually need to actually have one. Because I always tell people you need to have an aim, you need to know where you're going. I am with every other part of my life, but with YouTube, I just see it as, oh, it's something I enjoy doing, I like helping people. But maybe I need to see it more in a business way, perhaps. And you have been on like courses to learn about YouTube, haven't you? Yeah, I've been on one. How was it? It was good. What was the best thing you learned? <laughs> um, there was a guy called Daryl Eaves, you may have heard of him. And yeah, he was just ta saying about the algorithm, about collaborating, um, what else was it? It was last year. So and this this is a collab. Yeah, this is a collab. Collab. Yeah, he said to collaborate with other YouTubers or even like mention someone. How does this come about then? So this this collab mm. what we're doing the three of us. Like, how? What's the, from 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 someone who's a YouTuber or someone who's wanting mm. to be a YouTuber or understand collabs? Like, how does it come about? And what's the what's the crack? What do you mean, like? How do you approach people? Or how does it work? Because I think probably different YouTubers have got mm. different... I don't even understand the etiquette, probably. That's why <laughs> I mean, all that stuff. Oh, but okay. but like from my perspective, I don't care about when I'm, when I'm getting people on my channel or mm. if I'm going on other people's channel. I don't really care about how many subscribers or views they get. So that's good that you're humble. I don't care about any of that stuff. All I care mm. about is do I like them and do I think they're going to be able mm. to provide insight yeah. to, to, my, to, to my guys? No, it's... The thing is, you can collaborate with anyone, but a lot of YouTubers only want to collaborate with someone in their caliber sort of thing. Well, it's which got the is same amount of subscribers. Yeah, so it's hard for like smaller YouTubers to then, because they're like, oh, you know, you haven't got enough sort of thing. Do you know what? So that's good. I mean, that you don't I mean, care. I mean, in my opinion, because because 
we do get approached a lot mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. by people wanting to do collabs and do things and on if it was my, if i had it my way i would just say yes to everybody i think mm-hmm. Um, and you put that thing <laughs> on me. He's like, I would say yes, but so you. So if you if you're listening to this and you've been you've been told no, that is. Is that your fault? Like, <laughs> why are you looking for Amelia? When you're looking for collab partners or people to do stuff with, get on the channel. Yeah. Like, what are you looking for? Value. Like, if someone can bring value, if someone's got a unique perspective, if someone's got a cool story. Mm. Um, the thing I don't like is if people want to come on and just like try and sell, yeah. or they're just and like, just you know, just really, really like self promotion or sell. Like if yeah. I go on someone's channel, I, I did the, the other day, I went on, yeah. and I don't know how many subscribers he's got, and guess what, I don't care, he's a friend. I went on the channel, yeah. Marcus De Maria. I don't think you met him actually, I don't think you were I didn't there. Meet him. What were you doing not there, that's crazy. <laughs> anyway, so Marcus came around and he interviewed me, and he's got a channel about stocks and shares. Oh cool. So that's his thing. Now, he's interviewing me on his channel. Mm. Number one, I am not going to poo-poo stocks and shares on his channel mm. and try and go, oh, you should do property instead. Because mm. that would be, I would see that as me being a dick. Mm. So instead, when I'm talking and giving analogies, I'm actually talking in terms of stocks a bit. And of course, I'm bringing a bit about talking about property. But I'm not trying to, mm. I'm not trying to get his subscribers yeah. to change their own. Secondly, I'm respectful of him because it's his channel. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be bigging him up. I'm gonna be. He, I chose. I, I chose to say yes because clearly I like him and his channel. So I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna yeah. talk about how he's helped me. I'm gonna talk yeah. about the. So just being respectful. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna be trying to talk about. Yeah. You know. Oh, if you want to join, venture, message me or, or trying to be even subtle. Like mm-hmm. I'm just there to give value. To, to, I don't care how many subscribers he's got. And when people come on my channel, I expect the same mm. same story. Tell us what, what. What about you? Do you have a collab? And if so, why? No, why a, a few people have approached me about a collab. But for me, they're nothing, not saying they're nothing like me. They'll say, oh, well, I have similar content to you. And that's one thing I'd say, if they have similar content or you can relate to each other. Because you could have someone sitting here and they could only do like makeup videos, which I love makeup, don't get me wrong. But I have to, we have to have a rapport. And also I have, you have to be valuable to my audience too. Yeah. Like I'm not just going to have someone there that's some random person that then was like, who's this? Oh, so just has, just to, so has, me. To, has to be on point. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, I have been, I have been approached, and to be honest, most time, you're the first one I've said yes to. Oh well, <laughs> yeah. well yeah. I'm honoured. I'm honoured. Yeah. I'll, t- I'll tell you the point of my YouTube channel while Amelia sinks deep within her soul. <laughs> so yeah, her no, point. I was just gonna say about um, when people are like, say if someone was really plugging themselves on mm. camera, I'm kind of like the whole point of a collab is like you'll be on their channel, they might be on yours, that kind of thing, and. Um, you're gonna get people go to your channel naturally if you give value. Yes. Like yeah. You don't necessarily need to like kind of plug yourself. And, it's true. Yeah. It's true. Here's 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 my points, and I'd love to know what you think of these I points. Know. Okay, number one, anybody can be financially free. Anybody that has a mental positive attitude and is hardworking yes. can be financially free. Yeah. Okay. Um. Next, you can buy property starting with nothing. From watching your course, yeah, you can. Good debt is really good. Yeah. Do you agree with that? I've got good debt. Yeah. Yeah. Because some people say debt's bad. No, it's not. I agree. (laughs) Education is the best investment. Yes. Knowledge is power always. The more you know, I always say the more you know, the more you earn. Property investing is easy. I haven't done it yet. No, but, but you know about it. I bought a home and yeah, it's easier than people think. You know why I say that? You know why I say it's easy and I get stick for this? Because people mm. say it's not easy, it's really hard. It's no harder than anything else. Listen, property investing, people make it so complicated, mm. it's actually not that complicated. Yes, of it's like driving. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm not saying if you if I say driving a car if I'm your driving instructor and you get in the lesson and you try get in mm. for your first lesson, I go, by the way, this is really hard. Yeah. It's gonna be really difficult. What I'm doing is I'm disempowering that person. If I say, listen, this is very easy. Of course, you're going to need the lessons, but you, mm. this is there's not much to this and you're going to get it. It's going to become second nature. It's the same. Property yeah. investing, yes, it's hard if you don't know what you're doing and you're going to get yourself in a pickle. And yes, it's going to take hard work. Yeah, yeah, it's actually yeah, simple. 100%. So that's my point. Um, qualifications are overrated. Yeah, they are. Namely, a YouTube channel is more valuable than a CV. Yeah, I, mm. I agree with that. Experience is more valuable. Yeah, the system wants you to be poor. Yes. Well, what do you mean the government? I mean, I, I, <laughs> not just the government. Well, it, it works in people's favour of people. 
I think the government uh, do want you to be poor. Yeah, they do. The government that, that government scheme that I spoke about and you spoke about that helped to buy one. Yeah. That doesn't allow you to buy another home if you want to buy a second home. No, because they don't want you to. And I'm not just talking about the government. I'm talking about the whole system. Mm. I'm talking oh, yeah. about I'm talking about the education system. I'm talking about the banks. I'm talking yeah, about 100%. the super rich, the elite. I'm talking yeah. about um, the government. I'm talking about the media. Yeah, they who teach who you who that who you need money, but they don't teach you how to make money at school. They teach you, oh, you the way you make money is yeah to go and get a job. Yeah. Yeah. The traditional way. And the last one is you you create your own life. Yes, 100%. You are responsible for everything in your life. That is just there. Yeah. That's my message. No, it's true. And and, and everything I talk about falls down to that. Mm. No, I 100% agree. And I think often we have this like blame culture in the UK that we like to blame everyone for everything, like our failures or, oh, wait, that happened because of this. But if everyone just took accountability for their like actions and... It, like even the mistakes I've made, it's been my fault. Mm. So you learn from your you learn from your mistakes, and then you're better. Yeah, you got f- you, you fail your way to success. Yes, exactly. I'm F- sure you've made. Have you made any mistakes? Well, it depends on how you define it. it. Depends. Of course, I've made mistakes. Yeah. Um, it, 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 I wouldn't look back at my life and say, "Oh, I've got regrets." Okay. Yeah. Your right? your mistakes make you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not even mistakes, but w- okay. If I if I ring up an agent and try mm. and negotiate to buy a property and they say no that's too low how dare you be so rude and put the phone down on me that's a failure no well it, it, no I, I, my objective mm. was for me to make the call and get a win yeah and yeah. I didn't so I failed in the same way that if I shoot uh, uh, kick the ball to go in the in the in the target and it misses yeah I failed the shot you get some no sometimes I yeah. failed the shot but I'm not going to fail the game yeah 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 so I, okay that that call right there failed and at that point I can choose to say well am I a failure mm. you can give up have or I failed continue. in property investing no am yeah. I a failure no did that call fail yes yeah 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 so I think that that's the thing so you probably have a lot have had a lot of failure to yeah. get where you are yeah, yeah. have I have. I've had a lot of failure in my life. I've, had, I've made a lot of mistakes. I've had a lot of no's. But I've also had more wins and more yeses than nearly anyone I know. I think a lot of people, like if they get a knock back, that sort of knocks them properly back. Whereas someone like you would be like, all right, that's happened. How can I learn from this? Let's keep going. Mm. So if you have that sort of mentality, you yeah. will go far. Here's what I want to know from you, Grace. Why have you not got your second home yet? Because you've been talking about it for ages. No, I am going to buy it. This when? Yeah. I'm going to look in two weeks. Okay. Do you have your deposit saved? I've got my equity. Are oh, you going to refinance? Yeah. That yeah. That's so cool. Because you've been going on about it forever. I'm yeah. glad finally. No, last year I was going to do it. And then Nationwide didn't let me take equity out. Um, yeah. But I know how to get around that. Shade and then... on Nationwide. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go with them. But yeah. Um, but it's. Yeah. And I, th- I felt like I wasn't in the right place mentally and then I worked on my I always believe that like, you have to be mentally prepared for everything and now I am and I know what I want to do 100% yeah and there was other things as well um I want to go into them like politically of like oh, what, no, what no, might no. happen uh, no 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 I, I, I mean hey we don't have to go there but I think there was a lot of people that were worried about Brexit yeah yeah it's there yeah it's Brexit yeah and also with Something else as well, like say if I say if Labour got involved, yeah. I think they no, would no, no, no. Listen, they would have given more rights listen, to renters. You might be worried about talking about this stuff. I'm not. Okay. And, <laughs> and, and I'm cool to talk on the channel yeah. about this stuff. Yeah. I uh, saw Labour's manifesto. Manifesto. I saw what Jeremy Corbyn was saying. He yeah. was, what he was what he was saying he was going to do. People were absolutely pooing them, themselves. Yeah. Scared like crazy. Guess what I was doing? I was buying. Oh, because because obviously the price is lower. Because everyone was so scared. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not only was I buying, I was also one hundred percent confident that Labour would not. Oh, get okay. In. I was so confident. I did. A I YouTube... didn't know. Listen, I was so confident. I did a YouTube video about it, right? Yeah. Well, then yeah. I said on the YouTube video because there was a guy who said, "I'm going to hold off because of Labour." What do you think? Well, then I said. You said something like you'd give ten thousand. I said I'll give you ten grand, man. <laughs> I'll give you ten. No, you can give. You tell me your favorite charity. I'll give ten grand if 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 if, if Labour get in. Oh, okay. So I knew it wasn't gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. So I did. I didn't because everyone on my like Facebook and stuff, yeah, all online. like pr- proper Labour supporters, stuff. So like, oh god. And, and then you know what it is usually. And listen, yeah. I've got I've got very good friends who are mm-hmm. Labour supporters. Yeah, same. And and I'm not even. I wouldn't even say I'm this party or that party. I believe that you create your own economy. Yeah, hundred percent. I believe that. You as create well. your own economy. However, sometimes. Mm. Some of the uh, lib- uh, far left wings, liberal people, liberal people, they tend to be a lot more uh, vocal. Should we yes, say? Yes, that is true. 
Now I'm messing with Grace. Yeah, you're messing heads. with my hairs. I'm messing with. Um, did I mess with your head at the crash course? Yeah, I you think said you, you know sleep what? For days. I was like really mentally tired, but you I think so I, I couldn't sleep for two days. Head is just ticking over. Like, yeah. What can I do? What? Yeah. I think only like now it's sort of settled. It's settled now. It's settled. And now I'm messing with you again. Yeah, now you're messing with me again. What was your first experience with the crash course? Did you mess with your head at all, or were you just like not at all messed with it? I just felt like super motivated. Yeah. And I think a lot of people as well, because you've been in a room for two days with everyone that's, mm. you know, now on the same level, like energy wise and everything, and then you leave and you all go home and you're just kind of like at home, like, yeah. On yeah. Your own, like you're not high fiving anyone anymore, you know? It's just kind of crazy. So I think I was definitely like switched on for a few days after, kind of like just still motivated for it. Probably. Yeah. So you kind yeah. of feel when you leave an environment like that, because I run a lot of training programs, mm. I also attend a lot of training programs. Oh, do you? So I, yeah, you know, I go to, I go to a, I'm, I've spent millions of pounds on going on courses and being consulted in the last few years. Oh, wow. Millions. Even now, like even, even now. this year. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah, like oh, wow. we're booking him in at the minute, he's already like paid for it and everything. With them, um, like Grand Cardone to have like one-on-one -on -one yeah. training. Yeah. And oh, so you go to more one-on-one -on -one training than like, a room no, I do rooms as well. Oh, cool. I go to all sorts. We do, we do. Uh, you've been, you've met some of my business coaches. Yeah. Done some, done some, uh, doing some strategic planning, and it's not cheap. Mm. It's expensive. But then every time I invest in my own training, mm. uh, and I know that I'm growing as a person, I just think that's the best investment. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You just can't beat that. It's yourself. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Right. Can't beat that. Yeah, and it means when you're selling training as well, like it'd be kind of hypocritical of you to sell training, but then never train mm. yourself. Well, to get I, I, it would be yeah, go true. against everything. It would it would gr grain against my sole core mm. being mm -hmm. for, for me not to just because I believe in it. the reason I the reason I teach people is because I believe in the reason I have a training mm. company is because I believe in training. Yeah. Yeah. And at least you're not a know-it-all that thinks you don't need to know anything else. You, oh, well, that's the worst. So that's, that's good that you're no, not always... Not at all. I even learn from my students. Oh. There's even this YouTuber that does property videos um, how to buy stuff that I learn from. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I didn't even get that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, is, is he taking the mic? <laughs> but yeah, no, it's good. Knowledge is power always, and the more you learn, the better. I'm so always teaching myself as well. What inspires you? Why do you talk about property so much on your channel? Because I know you haven't mm. even yet bought your first investment property. Yeah. You obviously don't I, have I, You know what? On my channel, I talk about the normal way. So like buying your... Because most people just want to buy a home like to live in. Yeah. Mm. Um, and I talk about that because a lot of people say it helps. And I've actually got like sent pictures of keys people bought homes because of watching my videos and stuff and i give them belief and even my friends like two of my girl mates have bought houses and they always say if you weren't yeah. my friend i wouldn't have bought my house that's so good so it's like giving yourself belief that you can do this and then you do it um so i haven't gone on that route on my channel about the investment property yeah. yet i have spoken about that i'm gonna do that um but yeah i try and focus on like your mind more than anything because mine is important it's, mm -hmm. i, I think as well like you re you've researched stuff for yourself yeah and then you've just shared that exactly which yeah is a great thing i to think do. that's powerful though because like, mm. a lot of people won't read like like you were saying before mm. like people won't read the fine print and no. the fact that you like package it i'm so a geek well, and yeah i don't look like one but i do i do read a lot and i if i i'm gonna do something i want to know everything about mm. it before i do it what was, the, yeah. what was the very first YouTube video you ever did? And what did, made you I do it? I think I did a makeup one, but only because my friends kept telling me to do it, and I was like, all right, I'll do yeah, it. Yours was a makeup one, wasn't it? What was my first? No, mine was just a, I've wanted to do YouTube for six years, introduction. Oh, okay. Six and years later. Makeup. Oh, cool. Six years later. Yeah. I obviously and did then, makeup. I feel like, like always the first thing you think of when you think of YouTube, just like, I guess I'll put makeup on yeah. my face. So I think it's cool to see like people doing more interesting content, like you, oh, like loads of other girls. My the first day. YouTube video was, if I remember, was me just going round the house to look at to buy, and I just thought, oh, I'll just video it. So not makeup. Cool. Did you yeah, did you makeup. did you set up out to be a YouTuber nope. or you just did it? Yeah. No, nope, I never set out to be a YouTuber. Oh, okay. When did you want to get serious? What made you want to become serious with YouTube? Um, the evergreenness of YouTube. Mm. Okay. Meaning, your, your videos are very evergreen. Yes, but but um, and, and, and and no other platform on social media is so evergreen. So if I, mm. it's almost like a library. Mm. So if, if someone says to me, Samuel, can you teach? Oh, I need to know. I've got a question. It will probably be in my YouTube channel. And if it's not, then I'll need to do one. Do you ever worry that you're going to run out of video ideas? No. Okay. You know why? Because every property, everything's changing as well. Okay, yeah. So true. things are changing, rules are changing. 
Um, and every time, I guess I get hundreds of people messaging me asking me questions about property. Mm-hmm. So there's always something new or something I've not even thought of. Like, oh, that's, oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay. I'll do a video yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah. And even you go to different countries now, like you went to America and did an FF challenge. Yeah. So cool. even like different markets are pretty yeah. interesting, which we'll be looking into more. What do you want to see on my YouTube channel in 2020? What, what you're doing. Yeah, what do you want to see? What's your favourite kind of video? What's, what do you think I should do? I what like your, your informative videos. And I also like your documentaries. Because they're interesting. That kind of sums up pretty much every video. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, ones that help me, honestly. Yeah. yeah. What, what's like the one video that like sticks out to you? Other than maybe an FF challenge? Well, I, I'm really interested in the HMO videos. Because obviously... You're and they are... HMO. Yeah. But I've watched a lot of them. But I can't remember. Like, but I like the one with Glenn... Yes, yeah. I think Blackpool I commented Challenge. on that one. Yeah, that was really good. That could have been on TV. That was oh, really good. Oh, yeah, that was good. Yeah. That was good. My favourite video of you was definitely the one where you talked about me. Oh, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Is no. that the only one you watched? No, 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 no. I've watched lots. I was watching you when you came in as well. No, you actually was. Doing my due diligence, baby. You were just doing some research on me. <laughs> yeah. I was doing some research. So, hey, I, I, I've loved chatting with you guys. Yeah, yeah. Great. I'm, I'm cheering you on my YouTube channel. Oh, thank you. I think you're going to blow, blow, blow. Do you yeah. think? I think so. It's okay. just fresh content as well. I think your channel has a lot of content that a lot of people aren't putting out there. Oh, thank you. Yeah. But well, your channel's definitely going to blow. My channel's you're already, already, already blown. blown and it's going to go it's, even it's, further. It's already blown a little bit. It's kind of like, like a... Like a, like a <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, because I think when I started watching you, it was like... You had a 60,000, and that was like a year ago. So, ready. No, not even that. Maybe 40,000? No, I reckon, yeah, probably a year ago, maybe 40,000. Yeah. yeah. So, it's done yeah. really well. Yeah. But now it's, it's really going well. crazy. Yeah. But no, I, I, I'll keep watching with interest. On yeah, the property too, side of things, so. I'm looking forward to seeing you killing it. Yeah. I'm still trying to persuade her to join the academy. I'll be on it. I'll be on it. I'll be on it. When the, when the cameras are off, that's when I'll hard sell it. Sell it. Yeah. When the cameras are off. But uh, did you find how Sally was the crash course? How well? How, how did you feel that like right. the crash course was like a hard sell? No, it's my, way less. That's what some people think. Think. No, I know because I was expe- That's what I was expecting. But I've been to other seminars and they're way more, mm. way more. We just make a short offer. And the thing is, it's normal to I think sell your course. Yeah. Because otherwise, point, you'd be a charity. Yeah, like we just make like a fifteen minute. Mm. Hey, this is the program. Yeah. Here's your offer. Tell you a bit about it. Bang bang bang. Yeah, I don't think it's silly at all. I don't know why people say that. I just think you know what people that are that sensitive to being sold to. I'll say mm. something controversial now. <laughs> people that are that sensitive mm. that they feel like a fifteen minute little short offer. Yeah. Is like, oh my gosh, I was sold to and it's terrible. It's the worst thing that ever happened to me. They will never be able to sell yeah. themselves because they're so sensitive mm-hmm. about this whole topic of being s- of sales they'll never be able to sell yeah if you will never be able to sell you're never going to make any money yeah it's true yeah. because m- sales equals income mm. so if you come to the crash course and you're so upset by a 15 minute offer in a 14 hour day mm. then you probably should knock out to be an entrepreneur. No, it's true. And mm-hmm. also, I think people say, well, because you naturally have enthusiasm and so do all your speakers. So imagine if you was like, all right, we're going to sell this to you now. And then all of a sudden you're just like, yeah, we've got this course and it's really... But I think because you're enthusiastic, they're like, oh, they're trying to sell us something. But that is how you are. Mm-hmm. So I think people don't correlate that and don't quite understand that obviously you're an enthusiastic person. You have to sell something. You're not going to be like... Depressed, sell it, selling it, are you? Yeah, we're so, going to and do danger. And I, I know from speaking to you, you're, you actually, you obviously really believe in your course, and you want me to go on it because you know it's going to help me. It's not because mm-hmm. you just want to make money from me, and I can tell that. So, yeah. Yeah. and I don't see yeah. the money anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even take a cut from. The I don't take business. a salary from it. <laughs> yeah. So no, and I and I'm told by lots of people sometimes, you know, change your market. Mm-hmm. Why don't you only? Because we cater to wealthy, very wealthy yeah. people. Yeah, we've been advised a lot to only cater to people. That, you know, have a certain amount of money, oh, maybe okay. celebrities only, this person only, but because we could just do yeah. like a lot with them. But the thing is, I'm a working class guy. Mm. I, I grew up at times knowing what it's like to not have anything. Mm. I haven't got a, an amazing education. Left school at sixteen, so I want to help people. Yeah, like that's that. a good thing. Yeah, I don't want to just work with only people that have got two hundred and fifty grand and above in the bank, qualified investors only. Mm, yeah. 
So, because that's not yeah. my... It's like gatekeeping, like not letting yeah. everyone in. The whole point about you is that you're making Because you, you'd be criticised if you did that as well. So either way, you can't win, <laughs> yeah. I, I think. Yeah, because then it would be just a case of, oh, it only works with people. Yeah, oh. of the higher status. Mm. Ultimately, though, you know, I, I get a lot of satisfaction from mm. what I do. And I know some people might say, oh, I will sell it, but like... That that I've got I've got thick enough skin yeah. to know that actually we're helping so many people. We were yeah. just at the academy train today. How was it? Amazing! Like oh the God. room was just ah, the energy. Yeah, like the you, energy the, the is so The crash good. course energy is amazing, but at the academy because that's everyone who's oh like right. properly boring. Oh wow! It's just like it's a whole new level. Insane. Oh cool! It's a whole new level. And the amount of people in the room at the academy events that are killing it, doing deals, financially free. It, it's mm. just it's quite surreal. Mm. It feels like. Samuel Leeds Property Paradise. We should call it property. Because <laughs> yeah. it's just it's nicely. Because it's like, when do you ever have a have a room of people mm. where most of the people in the room are financially free, are doing deals? Yeah, like, that is so like bad. being in that environment, mm. the positive peer pressure in the property paradise room <laughs> is just second to none. Yeah, and I can how can amazing. you not be successful when you personally when know? so many people mm -hmm. that are financially free. It just rubs off. Yeah, no, you're right, it does. You can't get that from online training. Yeah. It just rubs off. And yeah. I, I think in person you learn way more anyway. Well, it's a, it, our programs, I call them doing us, not seminars. Yeah, you're, it is a doing us. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have to go to the gym that day. What's that? I said I didn't have to go to the no, gym that day. You, you're too busy jumping up, picking up phones, calling agents, running around, do, yeah. doing, doing things. So, um, no, that's awesome. If we can help you in any way, let us know. We'll need to Thank give you, you we'll, we'll leave a link in the description mm -hmm. to your oh, amazing right. YouTube channel, Thank Grace you. Anastasia. Thank you for having me. You're so welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Good. Thanks.